to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you how to create a card featuring the lazy poppies with a Distress Oxide background. It's very simple and just shows beautiful. I have this idea, kind of I was inspired by um, Chiara Modenini from Moda Scrap because she created beautiful cards using a background like that. I think she used the regular Distress ink but I'm going to use the Oxide. So um, this is the Lazy Poppy die set. So that's what I'm going to use. And first I'm going to start with a piece of white soft finish cardstock. Um, very important for this one because it has that beautiful texture on it and it just shows through with the oxides really well with the distress oxides. So I have three colors. I have the faded jeans, the cracked pistachio and the broken china. So I'm going to play with those three colors and I'm going to start with the light with the broken china first. So just going to dab, I'm going to, so I have that round tool here. And the most important part is that you kind of fade it out nicely. And I just love these inks. Have to put some green here in between. Just make circular motions and try to kind of fade it out nicely that you don't get real like real spots until you think it's nice because there's no rules or regulations for this one you just I think it's best to start with a light color first maybe fade out that green a little bit that pistachio here and we're going to add a little bit of the broken china here at the bottom I think that's good enough. Let's close the... And of course with the oxides you can always play, so it's always going to be fine. If you're not happy, you're going to do it again. Um, and then I'm going to take the sprayer. So this is the Distress Sprayer and I just really like that one because it just sprays beautifully. I'm going to put my card... So that's that. And then I'm going to use my heat tool. You already see that oxide doing its work. You wait for a little bit, it just does it by itself. So you can let it air dry as well. That's going to be nice. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, Distress uh, Stain Spray. I'm going to put a few splatters on there with the black. I'm just dipping my brush in there. You can use paint and, and uh, make it a little bit like a wet paint. It's not... That's it. And I'm using an old brush here. It's just an old brush I have. And I think that's nice as it is. And then I'm going to clean up my craft sheet. Get rid of the black. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this as well. And that should be enough. So you just need to watch it and I carefully dip with my finger and then if I see it's not coming off anymore, I know it's dry. And then what I did with the card, I kind of played a little bit with Sakura pens, with the Sakura pens. Um, so I can kind of, you know, I can follow some splatters here. Just trace it, just give some extra fun dimension. And it will hardly show on the screen, I think. So you can do that. Yeah, maybe this one shows. So just trace it with a white gel pen. So that's a fun thing to do. And I also made a stitched here, if you can see here, I made a kind of made a stitched line here in the corners. That was fun to do as well. So I started with the black. And uh, so this is the uh, Pigma Micron, P of the PN Micron. And I just did a stitch. And while I was doing this, I thought, oh, I think that's too, too strong. So I did that black first. And then I went over it with the white uh, gel pen again. And that's a fun thing with crafting, you know, if you don't like it, you just try to adjust it. 
and we all know that sometimes that works and sometimes it can be too much and then you ruin things and you start over. But in this case it worked out well. You then went over it with the white. You see, kind of toned it down. Just fun to play. If you want to do, go all the way around, you can do that. I just kind of hit the corners. And I kind of just little black dots in between. And again, don't try to do it too precise because that's the fun thing about this. That's it. Then I'm going to put this on the card first. I'm going to use the six millimeter tape here. Because it's a large piece, I'm going to cross over one time as well. That's it. And then try to piece this on here as straight as possible. So that's the card. And then here I have the uh, pop piece. And what I did with that, uh, so I take the kids glue because I don't want to have it all the way like down. So I'm just going to take some kids glue and then I have a wooden stick. I just put some glue here in the center and that's enough. And then I'll take a little bit with my finger and just on the stem a tiny bit because that's all what I want to do. I don't want to have anything more then that's that one. And of course I have my sample here because normally I would put it on here first, kind of lay it out a bit, but because I have my sample here already done, let me bring that in more because I have this already. So I have that as a guideline in this case. And then the last one. Here, and I'm going to trim this off. And then as you can see here, so you can leave it like that, but here I put the prills in the center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some glue as well. I can just pick it up with a stick. Kind of spread it out, following the center of that poppy. And I put up quite a bit because uh, then I can kind of push in those prills. And uh, also it dries clear, so it's all fine. It's going to be all fine at the end. Wouldn't stick for that. So just move it around till I see everything is covered that I want to cover with the prills. Again, I use a coffee filter because it's... Just put them on there, tap it off. And then I do the same with this one. There we go. And then sometimes I want to see a little bit more, but I think I'm fine. And so I can just push it in a little bit. You see if it's not in the shape that I want to, because it's the kids glue, it's a heavy glue, dries clear. So if I see, you see, I can kind of shape it again. And that's it. And then it needs to dry. So I see some white glue now, but I will not, will not see that when it's done. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I've suggested a couple of videos I think you'll enjoy as well. And don't forget to download the project sheet. See you next time.